Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Decaron, and this is a free-to-play fantasy MMORPG. Now one of the most interesting pieces of information that I found out while I was researching the game is today we're early February uh, 2012, and the game is currently managed and run by a company called Game High. And Game High is actually going to be turning over the service to Nexon here in just over 10 days from the time that I'm actually recording this video. So the game, a lot of people are concerned right now with the botters and stuff like that, but I'm sure once it gets into Nexon's hands fully that uh, it will be taken over and uh, a lot of that stuff will be wiped out. But let's go ahead and create a character while I continue to talk about some of this stuff. The other thing that I found out was that um, the game, actually I knew this already, I didn't find this out. The game used to have two separate services, Decaron in, um, in Europe and then Two Moons in the US. Two Moons was actually shut down and everything was combined into a global Decaron server. So let's go into the character creation, enough about all that crap anyways. So, But for those of you that are excited that it's moving to Nexon, that bit of information was probably very helpful. Anyways, so creating character, first right off the bat you can see the classes and the everything's kind of combined so if you want to play a certain class you are selecting not only your class but you're also selecting your race as well as your gender so you can see here we've got the azure knight male or female nope it's just a male is your knight then you've got sagata hunter which is female kind of your hunter archer type then you've got the incar magician your elementalist magician all of that good jazz the vicious summoner which is a male then you've got the signal which uh kind of an interesting little character um looks to use a blood whip they kind of are more of your assassin type then your boggy warrior which is your uh kind of pure warrior type and then the most recent class is, uh, gender is the alokin which you can see here remain in land uh, they're kind of a cross between a magic user, spear wielder, stuff like that. Maybe more along the lines of shaman, druid, stuff like that. But I'm actually going to go with the Incar Magician because I want to play a magician. She's got uh, all this glowing stuff going on. We can spin her around. And you can see, I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of skin showing there. But unfortunately, once we go ahead and uh, select OK. Oh, we didn't enter a name. So let's go down here, enter a name. I think it's down here. We, there we go. I just missed the, uh, the clicking in the right spot. So there we go. Use our usual name. Hit OK. And we've created our character. And there she is kind of in the same spot. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to select a channel. We'll go ahead and select Calbus And let's connect. Now the game does have a lot of very, very basic features when it comes to your standard fantasy MMORPG. You'll see once we get started, we'll get in, we'll start to pick up some quests, go out, quest around, we'll have to run around town a little bit, meet a few different people. Um, but the game is very much structured around a skill system and you every single level you're going to get five attribute points that you're going to be able to assign. So that's going to be kind of the way that you uh, customize your character because unfortunately, as you saw, there was no way for me to actually customize my character as far as my look and appearance. So on top, so when I'm looking for look and appearance and I want to do customization there, the only way that I'm going to be able to do that is through armor and things of that nature. So let's cruise over here. Now, I was in here earlier and you can see there's kind of a graphical glitch here. So you can see that guy has the exclamation point. But if I'm moving around and I kind of get that exclamation point into some of the buildings, it just kind of completely disappears. So unfortunately, I don't, uh, I don't have the ability to see all the exclamation points. So I am a little bit hindered as far as being able to see who has quests for me. Luckily, I jumped in here earlier, so I'm able to see that this person has a quest for me, Artica and Marble Craftsman. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and I'll talk with him. So we need to go over here and we need to talk to Maximus. Now, one thing that's really cool, so we've got that quest. We can close our quest log by hitting Q. We've also got this little quest alert up here that shows us different quests that we have available. We can scroll this down and see we've got these three other ones, but they're uh, in different areas uh, based upon, um, see, these are the city areas. So right now I'm in Ardeca. 
So that's where I'm at. Now, one thing that you can take and you can, so I'm not in these other areas, so I can't pick up those other quests. That was the point I was getting at. So we bring up the map and let's see if we can find Maximus. I know where he is. He's right there. We could also use this find NPC, hit find Maximus and you'll see he's glowing there. So I know where I need to go. So kind of a cool little structure. Now, you, now it's not like a lot of more modern uh, MMORPGs where you can take and just click on the name and you're gonna run off in that direction but it does give you the ability to find where the guy is and then be able to run there on your own. So we went ahead and turned that quest in. Does he have another one for us? He does. So I kind of had to turn it around a little bit. So purifying the river. All right, what kind of purifying do you need? Go talk to this chick, Fionel. So let's go ahead and close that out. And let's go ahead and close that out. And let's start cruising over there. And when we turn in this quest, it should actually level us. It's pretty funny because you can see it's still on him. It wants me to go ahead and keep walking over to him. But we actually need to go over and talk to... There's Karen. And there's Fionel right there. And we can talk to her. So let's go ahead. Purifying. Yep, I'll help. No problem. So we did level up. So we, we, we've got a couple different options here. We can hit H. We can bring up all this different help and see all the different things that they have for us from basic movement all the way to dying and respawning, uh, respawning and system controls. But we don't need to see any of that crap right now. So now the next thing it's talking about is C2. Let's go and allocate. So we've got five points. Now I am a magician and I've already got one of my, I've got energy jab down here, the most basic magic that blasts energy to enemies that are away. So there's a little bit of translation issue, issue there. The most basic magic that blasts energy to enemies that are far away or that are in a distance or whatever. So. But we're gonna take and we're gonna dump. We can we can kind of play with this and we're gonna see which different things it's going to affect. So by putting a point into spirit, I'm actually seeing my magic go or my mana points go up and my magic attack go up. So I'm actually gonna dump everything into there and hit apply. You can see I'm already gonna do in the mid 40s. So let's go ahead and hit quest. Now we don't have a quest right now, so let's close that out. And I think we pick up one from her. There we go. Exterminating the moths. Yep, not a problem. So let's go start killing some stuff. So let's close our chat. And we don't want to abandon it. Let's see, do we have any other ones? The yeah, now noxious insects. So let's see if she'll give us that one. Oh, just moth wing powder. Yep, we'll go ahead and let's do both of those because we're probably going to kill the exact same monsters. So let's start cruising out this way. Now the game does use a skill system and you can see right here, here's our energy jab. Now we've got different types of skills. We've got energy, we've got fire, we've got ice, we've got lightning, and then we've got this uh, trans up, which looks like it's uh, gain power to the control of the glower or glower, whatever. Maximize magic energy. So these kind of look like different types of buffs and stuff like that. A spell that only high magicians can have mastered. All four elements can use. So you can see right there, next PC required is 131. I believe the highest level is around 200 right now. And then grade requirement, new Esquire. So I can't even access any of those. So right now I just have the energy jab. You can also see I have one skill point remaining. I can't actually assign that right now because before I can uh, do that, I either need to get new skills or I need to get level seven and then I can actually assign that point there. So either way, let's go ahead and start firing away on this guy. Now the targeting is kind of interesting as far as the different stuff you can use. And I am trying to use my energy blast, but it doesn't seem to be uh, actually using that. So I'm just whacking away with my, uh, with my mace. So there we go. And slowly, but I'm actually dying here. Let's get away from that moth a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm dying because I am not using my magic and I'm not sure why. So all weapons and a blast of magic energy. So I'm not sure why that's not working. So I'm trying to cast it on him. And I need to heal up before I start attacking him again or else he's gonna waste me. Now he's coming at me. And he's beating me up. So I'm gonna actually die if I keep trying that. So I'm not exactly sure. Let's see if I can bring up the help on actually using skills. 
So where is it in here? Using quick slots. So click the portion of the inventory, install it into your possible keyboard shortcut, F1, F2. So let's go ahead and uh, let's drag that over there. Let's put that into uh, F1. Let's see if this will work. Nope. That's uh, not, the, not, the, not the actual using skill. So skills have got to go into 1, 2, 3, 4. I know I'm actually using it because I can turn it on and off. So use the skill interface, click the skill, skill window, and install it on the possible keyboard shortcut 1 through 9. So it looks like I'm using it correctly, but for whatever reason, I'm just uh, getting my ass kicked by these things instead of actually doing any damage to them or actually casting my spell. So let's get out here and... Uh, so we've got another player here. Let's see here if we can find some more of these moths to take out now that I'm pretty much all the way healed up. Yep, and it's not working. So I have no clue why that is not working. Let's try and put it in a different spot. Where's K? There we go. Let's confirm that it didn't work. So let's try putting it in the equal sign Oop. <laughs> so I have no clue uh, why it's not actually casting my spell. Instead of uh, instead, it's running up and trying to swing and beat on him with my scepter, which is not going to do me any good. Let's see if I can just pound away on my uh, on my hot key. This is not going to work. I'm going to die. So not exactly sure why my uh, why my spells are not working, especially since. I went ahead and pumped up all my spirit. It says right there my magic attack should be 42 to 47, not the little paltry amount that I'm doing. So, and unfortunately, the quest that I have needs me to kill a bunch of these moths. So, I'm kind of screwed unless I can start unless I can figure this out and start killing these guys. So, select a number of skill slots to fold. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure this out or else I'm not gonna get very far in this uh, in this video. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna, instead of waste your guys' time, I'm gonna pause the video and I will be back as soon as I've figured this out. All right, so we're back. I figured it out. So essentially you have two attack modes. So essentially with my left click, I can take and I can just attack melee or with my right click, I can just, I can start bombing away on these guys. With my with my spells that I have chosen, which is kind of a it's kind of a weird combat system, but I guess it works. So there we go, just leveled up, and I've already gotten some of the different quest items that I need. You could see here in my chat bar chat window. Now, unfortunately, this chat window is is really really translucent, so it's kind of tough to read. But it shows right there, Mothwing Powder two of ten, and then down here you could see where I was actually asking for some help. Nobody actually helped me. I was actually able to ask an NPC to uh, to help me out. So we got some more messages because we just leveled up. Let's go ahead and assign our points because that's going to make me do even more damage with my spell. So let's apply and we'll get some more mana as well. And let's start throwing off some of these energy blasts on these guys. There we go. You can see right now I'm already doing 100 and something damage when I crit. And 74 each time, and this guy keeps flying around me. And it seems like the targeting is a little bit kind of weird as far as that's, that stuff uh, is concerned. I'm not sure if there's an easier way to, to do this. You would think that, you know, I would just be able to take and hit one and be able to cast my spell whenever I want. But no, I have to kind of put myself in this mode, and then I want to keep casting that spell. I just take and keep... Uh, I keep rocking this guy with the uh with the right click so some some interesting choices as far as the interface options are concerned for the the magic user so and you can see right there i'm actually trying to right click this moth but since i don't have that skill selected i have to go ahead and select the skill first and then i can actually start hitting this moth with uh with some of these energy bolts or energy shots so we've got, we've got several more, or energy jabs, they're called. So we've got five more of those things to take out. Here we go. Let's go get this one. So as you can see, the targeting is a little bit weird because if you're not, like, right on this guy, you can't really, uh, you can't really hit him or it won't cast the spell. 
So you gotta, or you'll actually take off running in that direction. So you've got to take and, and be kind of right on the uh, on the monster. So kind of, like I said, it's kind of a weird system, but uh, not the worst. Not I wouldn't say the best either. I think they could have done uh, done a little bit better job with with the way this was done. It's kind of just seems like such an odd system. At least to me it does. Maybe to you guys it doesn't. But to me it seems kind of weird. So either way, so now we're getting a little bit low in health, so we're going to have to kind of rest a little bit. Let's take a look at our inventory. So we've got a bunch of these different moth wings. We've got some Valentine Day chocolate. Increased physical and magical attack strength, the long range attack strength. You know what? Why not use that? And there's our little buff right there. So we can move those up and around over here. It looks like we've got one here for... Uh, for actual ones that do damage to us. You can see we've got an ancient wand, we've got little breath pants on, and as you equip all this stuff, like these these pants and stuff like that, you'll see they'll actually go onto your characters. You can see she's running around with those pants on. So let's see if we let's see how much more damage we do with this. Ooh, all of four more points of damage. So we're gonna need we're gonna need a little crit here else we're gonna not last very long. There's one. See if we can get another one. There we go. And we leveled up. Nice thing about leveling up is just like any other game, when you level up, you get all of your health and mana back. So it looks like, congratulations, you reached level four. You can now learn a new skill, Energy Mastery and Energy Bolt. Please purchase these from the skill shop. We'll go check that out in a second. Let's take out a few more of these moths so we can uh, actually be fine. Well, we already attacked him. So we're going to we're gonna have to kill this guy first, and then we'll assign our... Uh, our attribute points that will actually cause us to do more damage. So let's take him out real quick. And there we go. Now the game also boasts a really, really uh, powerful PvP system or player killing system. And you, there's different areas that you're going to go into and it's open world PvP. So you can essentially just attack or be attacked at any time if you're in those areas. So you want to be either traveling with some friends or paying attention when you're in those different zones as you can get beat up or taken out by pretty much anybody. Now, the game does actually, in a slight deterrence, actually create a system where you will lose points or actually get a detrimental uh, reputation for doing that for just player killing excessively and you can actually go to jail and stuff like that and then you've got to either wait it out or you've got to bribe your way out of those situations so kind of an, an interesting system as far as the pvp is concerned they do also have large larger scale guild wars and things like that so there's a lot of stuff going on as far as the pvp is concerned so but it's nice to see that a game like this has a uh, a, a, a heavy PvP presence. So let's turn that in. We actually leveled up again. And then we need to go kill some lizard men. And then we need to pick up the other, this feeble crest. And let's pick that up. Okay. And we're out of here. So we've got a few more tips, but we're going to cruise right around. I believe he's, nope, he's over here. The little skill, the skill master that we're going to go get some new, uh, some new skills to play with. Hopefully more powerful. While we're doing that, we'll go ahead and assign these points. We're going to dump it all into spirit. As you can see, it just keeps making my magic attack go up. So, and because I'm locked into there, I can't change direction. So I was just cruising off in whatever direction I was heading. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. A guy named, I think it's a guy. It might be a female. I can't see it up close. Who knows? But whatever it is, named Leanne. So I want to trade. So here you can see the skill books. Let's go ahead and put those boots on. You can see the boots showed up on my character. So a knight, a summoner, a warrior. So I actually need to find the the uh, shop for my character. So I want to trade a magician. There we go. So I've got energy jab, which I already have. Then we've got energy mastery. So we're going to go ahead. Not enough dill. Not enough dill. So I only have 21 dill and I need 22 dill. So... I've got the option to pick up Energy Mastery and Energy Bolt, but I don't have enough money yet. So it looks like I'm going to have to cruise outside and start taking some things out until I can get enough money to actually uh, earn my keep, so to say. But you can see you can zoom in, zoom, in, zoom, in, zoom in really far. And you can also take and move around with WASD. We can also take and click really far away. So I'm going to run to that spot that I just clicked on. And so while I run to that spot, I'm going to zoom in. We can take a look at my character model. You can see here she's uh, getting a little upskirt right there, but we're not going to spend too much time in there. We'll uh, 
she's kind of glowing, which is kind of interesting to me. But I think that's just her race. Because uh, the my other character doesn't glow. And you can see the guy that I just ran past doesn't glow. And all these NPCs, they're not glowing too much. Now we need to take out some lizard men. And they're around here somewhere. There they are. So there we go. Let's go ahead and start casting on this feeble lizard man. It's kind of nice. It's, you can see as I'm hitting them with this this energy blast, he's actually getting pushed away. And that actually splattered him. All that's left of him is legs and a big old blood splatter. So that's one other thing that I wanted to mention. If you're looking for something that's got uh, a little bit of gore that goes along with it. Now, it's not as bad as a game like Requiem or anything like that, but that game is a, a horror game. You can see right there, they're completely exploding when I'm taking and, and destroying these guys. So... But one thing, like I said, that, that is a little bit of a, a, I don't know, maybe it just takes a little getting used to is the targeting system. Kind of weird as far as I'm concerned. Let's pick up these dill that we're, that these guys are dropping. That's that's probably my, my one major complaint. Yeah, I, I like the way you can move around. For a little bit of older game, I think graphically it looks really, really nice. I like the fact that when you take guys out, I mean, look, his head is over there, his upper body's there, and his leg's there. I think that's pretty cool. So you've got really really uh nice animations as far as the attack animations as far as the damage animations and, and all the, the skill uses i want to get some more money so i can start picking up some other skills and i can see what those are all about looks like these guys seem to drop money more than the moss do but exactly where would the moss keep money if they did drop it i'm not exactly sure so let's take this guy out here real quick and i did a critical so that did even more damage and really caused him to explode but you can see the environments. They look really nice. You've got different types of lizard man, which is kind of cool. I mean, they could have very easily made them all the same model. So there's a little bit of uh, intricacy to the detail as far as these different uh, in, or different monster models are concerned. So that's kind of cool to see. It is a bit disappointing that all the classes are uh, gender locked. And I mean, not only gender lock, but race lock. So I mean, you really don't have a lot of options as far as that stuff is concerned. But, I mean, as far as the depth of the game is concerned, that can probably be something that I could get over pretty quick, especially since the game is fairly deep and has a lot of levels for you to get through. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And don't forget to comment and like, and comment and tell us exactly things that we missed or things that we should have covered. If you'd like to play or learn more about Decoron, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.